The Deutsche Technik Museum in Berlin is one of the biggest technology museums of Europe. Berlin. Hello. Here is Sonja Uhl, this is my son Naha. Welcome to my channel. The Deutsche Technik Museum exhibits a very large collection of historical technical artifacts. The museum is famous for its huge plane, boat, train and car exhibitions, which are really unique. It has an exhibition area of around 25,000 square meters and is located directly on the side of the Anhalter Bahnhof in Berlin. A special focus is set on the cultural history of technology and of technical developments. The museum opened its doors for the first time in 1983 and in 1999 there has been placed a plane uh, called uh, Rosinenbomber above the top floor. And the Rosinenbomber um, was called a plane uh, from the US Americans which uh, came in the times of the closed wall uh, to feed the people from the air. The exhibition of airfare documents the airfare travel history of the 20th century. That includes everything which can fly from the balloon to the passenger planes of the 70s. There's an exhibition area of the Second World War which shows uh, the history of the German Luftwaffe and also exactly how the national social socialists instrumentalized air travel for their propaganda. The area of space travel focuses on the German contribution of the development of space technology. The exhibition Lebenswelt Schiff World of Ships documents 10,000 years of sea travel history with around 1,100 items. Fifty-two model ships show developments in size and shape from the leather boat to the aircraft carrier. Other exhibits focus on a wide variety of themes relating to deep sea ships. Okay. 
There are also a few really big ships uh, inside the museum, for example, one 33 meter long uh, Khan from 1840 and another very big uh, project from uh, 1901 and a few uh, other big ships. There's a huge car exhibition called On the Move, exhibiting all kinds of cars from the beginning of car history until today. It is a focus on special car models of previous decades, from the beginning of the 20th century mostly to the 80s, Many cars are shown in a very placative way. That means, for example, you find a car cut in half to be able to see its entire motor and electric devices. Big vibes. Look, I'm up by my pledge, bitch. I'm decked up on blue bills, and I won't stop until the cash pit look like fall leaves in the backfield. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bullshit. Quick to say my piece, I'm so after school special. She brainy, but them jeans looking like paint. I gotta bless her. Niggas talk a whole lot, know a damn way they really can't press us. I notated on leaflet. I'm really up a few levels with it. Like way, way out the way from them. Can't see me, you can't meddle with us. EMJ in my Earl Grey hood bunched up with the cheese eggs and a dumb face. No stunning shade still turned up. Then had it pop in in broad day. That's RV. Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fade, got a punch drunk. My providence, they don't love us. They rather treat us like an animal. They wonder why we on Ape shit. Escaping shit, I'm off the cannabis. Middle fingers in tandem, going tantrum. Yelling fuck 12 with a big smile, young phantom. Hi, mom, I'm on camera. Coming live from the mud pit, we don't take post beat for granted. I plan to keep it stress free, live and die young. I leave it on the canvases. Split up some on my bed. You'll find also many car parts, for example, a collection of engines. Uh, or other um, devices and parts of cars, uh, which gives good insights how the car were in history. A special thing is also 
that uh, there are a few models of old electrical cars uh, exhibited, um, which are electric, the first electric cars uh, made here in The Deutsche Technik Museum has a lot to offer for visitors. It's really huge. We have spent around five hours inside and didn't see more than 50% of the exhibition areas. More thematic areas are, for example, the net, printing technology, filming and TV technology, photo history and technology, radio and news history, history of informatics, and there's also a very, very huge area for railway technology from around 1880 with a few very famous objects. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my content, please hit like and subscribe to my channel.